in this lockdown after being inactive for more than 2 months left my workouts and left my diet system and simply kept on uh, sleeping in the home so my muscles became weak uh, all over body became weak so in the mu- month of may i started to get spontaneous bleeds uh in 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 the same target right knee joint uh which i have uploaded in our uh, channel there was around uh, 10 target joint bleeds within 3 months in the same exact spot you can refer to the video links given on the top right corner or click the annotation icon you will get those videos thank you then let's see how i recovered from those bleeds in june i started my diet and workouts by going to my uh, friends local gym which is a uh, little cheap and uh, not sufficient for me and not comfortable for me also but i kept i started to work out something is better than nothing so um, then in july also i was getting bleeds and uh, i am not feeling well but i didn't give up i kept on fighting hard maintained my diet system and kept on working out whenever i can whenever it leaves me to work out i used the gaps and and uh, started to uh, work out and started to uh, go for walking in the evening See, this is my walking stats uh this is the super proof you can't get better than this proof um after getting severe spontaneous bleeds without prophylaxis i i did this month performances increased around um, 100% but bleeds zero I got one day but it got cured in one day but I swear I didn't take factor uh, it's a minor bleed it recovered very quickly uh, I used the um, uh, only knee cap and uh, uh, kept it elevated in around 70 to 80 degrees and I was inactive on the day I didn't walk uh, for uh, walk um, for i walked for only necessary things okay this is monthly stats this uh, simply explained easily then you can see how i struggled if i check the stats of um if i check the uh, the daily uh, daily stats okay let's see daily stats my walking stats and my activity stats you can clearly see uh from the month of april itself let's see then only you can notice the difference see this is my stats 2 minutes 3 minutes that's all my whole day that's all i walk mm then in the month of may uh that's uh, when that's when um, first of may april 30th onwards my bleeding spontaneous bleeds started okay before that i didn't get uh, knee bleeds see how inactive i am 12 13 i had some work on those days then again bleeds that's why it's all empty empty or small bars means um uh, small bar means i am sick i am in pain or i am in bleed i am in uh, some kind of severe problem yes yeah, see 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 then june began june first or second onwards i started to go gym but i was side by side i was getting bleeds which took me every bleed on an average took me 4 to 5 days to cure even though i took factor on the first day itself Rare, rarely i took factor on the second day but mostly i take factor on the first day itself mm, 
still it takes 3 to 4 days to cure uh, on an average uh, to go out to go to the gym okay but uh, i feel to only comfortable only after 10th or uh, after 7 10 to 15 days only i feel comfortable but within those 15 days i get that next bleed because 90 days you get nine bleed means uh, on an average you get a new bleed every 10 days see it won't come easily see how i struggling these are all super evidence you can't get better than this i uh, i would like to say uh, i am the master of bounce back it wasn't easy you need a lion heart uh, lion heart and some knowledge that's why i want to guide you all through hemophilic hero channel uh, if you follow my guidance and suggestions then your life will be lot better than now see in july month my performance is started to increase and bleed started to decrease performance increase bleeds zero that's important that's the most important point ah uh, in the month of august only we are, uh, my performance started to increase sorry for that uh, i told you july it's okay i hope you understand see this are all 40 minutes active time i go to walking in the evening so you can clearly see those things i take rest and i walk for few minutes and then i take rest and then i walk for again few minutes sometimes i go for long walk 26th i had some family function so i was active on the entire day itself see on some days i gone for 10 minute walk also in one round uh, i kept on walking continuously for 10 minutes still i didn't get any bleed and uh, this is uh, i want to finish this walking because uh, uh, i want to uh, take rest of 3 to 4 days because i get that arthritis pain so once that arthritis pain uh, cured then i will start to work out uh, because work out is better than going for walking so uh, i am going to concentrate on work outs i think this is itself enough for you all and uh, check my old videos i have done this uh, i have reached uh, around uh, 70 minutes 60 minutes average walking time for a whole month itself so from a very bad situation to that level uh, i have uploaded those videos also i think if i didn't then i will uh, uh, i have added the screenshots i think in fight against hemophilia or some other video i don't remember sorry for that that's why i tell you all please keep on watching all my videos regularly continuously this is the most important video of all as a hemophilic this is the most important video of all in your life okay <laughs> see the weekly performance just a glimpse we will go through this very quickly see okay after 9 months i am on this mission i am just going to uh, experiment how it's going to feel i am little scared now but let me see but i have a hamstring bleed mm, so i gave a try without any weights but that itself 20 30 kg is of weight but it's nothing compared to our body weight because our leg only holds our body weight now so giving a try yeah, i feel very light my kind of like uh, my leg is not working but uh, i am trying to do see now i am doing it properly first two three reps not a good feel at all that's how you have to trust yourself don't try to start from where you left off always start with a comfortable weight first test yourself check whether it bleeds or not then only you have to increase it but don't worry 
there is something called mu- muscle memory so you will recover the lost strength and muscles very quickly if you train properly and maintain your same diet then it will be back very soon so don't try to be in a hurry this is my hamstring bleed i started workout only after uh, it started to cure Okay now let's see I am on my fourth round um added 20 kg of weight after two warm up sets I tried my third round with 10 kg and fourth round with uh, 20 kg yeah I am able to perform this exercise but uh, but uh, the mind and muscle connection is very less uh, I forgot to tell you something I am very surprised that I am able to do this exercise with uh, 20 kg it's uh, almost near to the uh, weights last year I did first two rounds I thought that I will not be able to do this exercise very soon with good weight uh, but see the sudden spike in my strength I'm very sure this is the best exercise you can do for your thighs. There is no stress, only 10 to 20 percent stress in your knees. That's the best part because of its angle. It only hits your muscle, not your bones or joints. I'm telling you all this with a eroded knee like this. You can clearly see a dent like thing. Um. it's all damaged by frequent bleeds i next workout calf raise okay i am holding the bar there so just half of my body weight is used for this exercise but there is only less flexibility on my ankles because of long time inactivity uh, it's uh, but i am sure that it will be back very soon I have to stop walking in the evening because of walking my leg gets tired and uh, I'm little limping in the morning and feeling tired so I'm going to stop my walking and concentrate on hitting the muscles and trying to make them grow and strengthen them Actually this movement itself good enough uh it's sitting my muscles i can feel the burning sensation in my calves uh which is a good sign that after i started to feel the burning sensation in my calves i slowly increase my uh, transferred my body weight to the uh, calf muscles clearly you can see that i uh, removed the support here is my favorite workout deadlift for healthy back lower back glutes and hamstring uh, on the day i am not able to do this workout properly maybe because of my hamstring recent bleed my lower back became very stiff i felt very depressed for that i i started to feel that uh, my strength and gains all lost it's just a mind game <laughs> after thinking for about to one week then i decided it's because of my hamstring bleed only i am not able to perform deadlift properly this is a new equipment in my gym i am going to concentrate on my outer thigh uh, interior thigh and glutes 
um, it's safe for me but if you have so speed it's dangerous you have to practice slowly